This video is on high voltage switchyard safety checks. What is prohibited? What is wrong? What is correct? I will tell you in this video. So references of this high voltage switchyard safety has been taken from standard number 1926.966 of OSHA, HSG 230 of HSE and then Indian Electricity Rules, rule number 68. First requirement there should be a boundary gate with a fencing height of 1.8 meter to 2.4 meter. No switchyard should be on in open condition. It is always fenced. It always should have a boundary with fencing height of 1.8 meter to 2.4 meter. OSHA tells 2.4 meter, 1.8 meter uh, according to Indian electricity rules. There should be an uh, one more thing. The gate should be in lock condition and there should be a authorization list pasted on the gate of the uh, high voltage switch yard that these are the person who are authorized to enter inside this switch yard. Second point electric shock emergency handling poster including first aid method should be displayed uh, on the uh, entry point at the point of the risk then high voltage value written at the gate likewise this danger high voltage authorized personal only and the correct value like if it is 220 kV 220 kV should be written on the gate of the entry gate of the switch yard then there should be all, all ground condition of the switch yard should be filled with gravel properly leveled gravel should be on the ground and there should be no grass no grass on the ground then access band during heavy rainfall and lightning even for the authorized persons also then circuit breakers isolators transformers switches switch fuses and bus bar system should be leveled properly like this uh, i have given a picture of isolator and transformer the, the warning chain should be displayed on them then grounding system I, this is not a construction uh, site photo i have deliberately given this picture here because if you see these are the groundings this is a grid you can say a parallel and series grids given in the switch yards ground so as to maintain the <coughs> sorry uh, continuity of the faults uh, that should go in the ground there should be no re uh, high resistance to those faults uh, if this uh, gridding is not present so always provide proper gridding system as per the electrical study so this is all uh, then one more thing uh, fire safety you should consider for the fire safety also uh, while in uh, safety in the switch uh, high voltage uh, switch yard so these are the requirements what one should consider while thinking about the visual checks Th these all checks are visual checks of electrical switch yard thank you